Welcome back. A group of House Republicans calling on the Olympics to put an end to athletes protesting the flag, or at least our committee. In a letter to the U.S. Olympic Committee, lawmakers voiced their concerns over these athletes, quote, taking advantage of the international platform to perpetuate divisive, hateful, and anti-American ideologies. Two of those Republicans join us now, Texas Congressman Lance Gooden and South Carolina Congressman Ralph Norman. Gentlemen, both, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Representative Gooden, let me start with you. So this letter is to the U.S. Olympic Committee saying, make sure our athletes comply with Rule 50 of the Olympic Charter, which says no political protest. Have you heard anything back? What do you expect? I, I expect political correctness, which is what we're so used to when it comes to issues like this. I hope that they'll do the right thing, but I think it's despicable uh, that any member of the U.S. Olympic uh, team uh, would do such a dishonor uh, to themselves and to this nation by disrespecting the flag, and I hope that uh, it absolutely is stopped. I hope you're right. Uh, we had it up there briefly, the portion of Rule 50 in the Olympic Charter, which says, no kind of demonstration, political, religious, or ra uh, racial propaganda is permitted in any Olympic sites, venues, or other areas. That's the Olympic rule. The U.S. Olympic Committee has allowed for some protests during trials. Uh, Representative Norman, uh, it, when it comes to the global stage, do you expect our athletes to violate that Olympic rule? No, and it's intolerable that they're doing it. Uh, you know, these Olympic athletes coming up through the system from grade one on up through when they qualify, they use institutions that are paid for by the United States taxpayer. They have scholarships paid for by the United States taxpayer. And for them to use five minutes to grandstand and denigrate the country that sent them there is unacceptable. And like Lance said, we shouldn't put up with it. And it's up to the United States to enforce that before the fact, not after the fact. Representative Norman, I'll stay with you. So you're saying this is more than just about themselves at this point. By the time they reach a podium in this process, they're not just representing what they've achieved as an individual, but they're representing our nation, and that comes with a responsibility. Exactly. And to make comments like Miss Wolf made, to use, you know, the, the ceremonies, if, she's, if she places or wins, uh, to burn the flag or to disrespect our leaders, it's, we don't put up with it. And you, this should be a qualification prior to them competing. And if it's not, then that disqualifies them. The flag means something. Uh, our country means something. And we paid their way. And now's the time to put some uh, ram to put some consequences, which they have not had. Representative Gooden, you know, uh, up until this point, the U.S. Olympic Kid Committee has really not done anything about political protest. Do you think those athletes that indicate they want to or will violate? That Olympic rule, should they even be representing our nation? No, I don't think they should. And I think uh, it's a real special type of vermin uh, that would go forward as a member of the United States Olympic team and insult their fellow Americans and disgrace the flag. I think it's despicable. And there are so many wonderful Americans on this team that are doing the right thing, uh, that love our nation. I think they do a disservice and a disgrace to themselves uh, when they step on the flag. I think they're dishonoring their fellow team members. They're distracting from our goal, which is to win gold medals. And I think it's, it's horrible, and it absolutely should be stopped. And I hope we get this fixed uh, before we really get in the heat of the Olympics. Well, good on you for, uh, for at, le at least holding them to account at some level, making them answer for it. Uh, we'll see what happens there. You can also watch Congressman Gooden's CPAC speech. We see where you're at. We see that Fox Nation logo there. It's going to be on Fox Nation. When are you speaking? Real quick, Congressman. I think tomorrow afternoon, just before President Trump gets to town. Tomorrow so we're, afternoon. we're having a great weekend. Very cool. You, that's right. And the former President Trump will be speaking tomorrow as well. You can catch it all on Fox Nation. We Rep miss you, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> they miss each other. That's nice. That's, that's very nice. nice. <laughs> At least they Ralph like each other. That's a good sign. We really do. We Gentlemen, do. thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks. My pleasure. Thank you. You got it.